In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to how RSS feeds and readers can help you and your students organize your daily flow of news and publications. RSS, or Real Simple Syndication, is a tool that has been around for a number of years. The basic idea is that RSS collects and centralizes news from around the web into one location. Rather than have to remember to check a dozen different websites to see if any new stories have been posted, RSS pushes any new content directly to your reader. There are a lot of RSS readers to pick from. I recommend Feedly for its clean design, ease of use, and bug-free performance on both browsers and mobile devices. RSS has applications both for organizing news about your own research interests and news for the students in your course. Let's look at what it can do for your own research first. With RSS, you can have new articles in your field's journals, new blog posts, or news releases from any organization you're interested in, all delivered to your reader. Every time something new is published, it gets added, whether it was a few hours ago, or a few days ago. To read an article, simply click on it and scroll through. At the bottom of the page, you have an option to leave your reader and go to the website where it was originally published. If you like the article, at the top of the page you can save it for later or share it on any number of social media platforms. When you're finished, simply click out of the article to return to your reader. Notice the article is now marked as read. In the classroom, you can use RSS to create a supplemental textbook that updates in real time. Have the entire class follow a feed that relates to the course material, and require students to come to class ready to talk about something they read on the feed each week. Or, have each student follow feeds that relate to their own research. For example, in an American politics course, each student might be required to subscribe to an executive branch agency they are writing about, or the feed of their home members of Congress. RSS is a tool that is traditionally used to deliver daily news digests, but with a little creativity you can build a useful collection of feeds for your own research or for use in your class. Stay tuned for another video on finding and adding feeds to your reader. If you want to know more about using RSS in the classroom, please contact us at ctrltlr at american.edu. Thanks for watching.